Hey there, bullfrogs. It's Miss Norris. I'm here today to talk about the Maryland Black Eyed Susan Reading Program. You may already know that the state of Maryland, uh, the state flower is the Black Eyed Susan flower, which you see here on the screen. Um, and the Black Eyed Susan Reading Program, uh, most of you know this, has been in existence for about 15 or so years. So some of this may be a review of information. Those of you new to Great Seneca Creek, um, please make sure you're listening carefully. And if you have additional questions, you can ask another bullfrog in your class or come see Miss Sloan or myself. Uh, just a few ground rules um, before we begin the screencast. Teachers, please feel free to pause the video at any time. Um, if you feel you need to check for student understanding. Um, students, please make sure that you have a piece of paper out to take notes on the main ideas of the video today. This is excellent listening practice. This is excellent summarizing and paraphrasing practice for you. You should be listening for the main ideas. What's the most important information that you hear today about the topic of the Black Eyed Susan um, reading program? Remember when you take notes, you're writing in informal English, which means you don't have to write a complete sentence. You can just list the key words, the key information or phrases. You can write it as an abbreviation. Anything that is going to help you remember that important information. Okay, so I'm going to just cover this back up so we're not distracted. And our objectives for today are as I stated before, to explain the Black Eyed Susan program again. Um, we're going to review the requirements so that you know what you need to do to participate and vote. I'm hoping to have tons and tons of fourth graders participating in the new graphic novel category this year, as well as the chapter book category. So we'll talk about that a little later. I'm going to also show you something exciting and new. Um, Miss Sloan figured it out for us the other day. She's amazing and awesome. And it's a website that's called Follett Shelf. And you will be able to go to this site and see some of the Black Eyed Susans, that's what BES stands for, nominees in an ebook or electronic format. So that means you can actually listen to some of them being read aloud. Now, I don't have them all in electronic format, so I will be showing you which ones we do have in that um, media format. We will also review where you can find the Black Eyed Susans for this year. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about the expectations and requirements. So some of you already know that the Black Eyed Susan Award is an award that is chosen by you, the students of the state of Maryland. As I said before, this program has been in, in existence for around 15 years. So um, Maryland school librarians like myself get together every year and we pick the books that we think are the best ones that have recently been published and produced. And we look for books to put in the picture book category every year. There's 15 of those. Um, and then we select 10 chapter books um, for grades four to six to read. And we choose uh, 10 graphic novels, which is a new category as of last year for students in grades four to six. But everyone can participate in that picture book category. And I strongly encourage you to read at least um, eight, if not all 15 of the picture books, because they are excellent examples of great writing with um, very precise use of vocabulary words and figurative language. So you can learn a lot from them to help you become a better writer, no matter what grade that you're in. But they also address different um, human experiences, not only of students that are younger, but students who are in upper elementary to m even middle and high school age. So don't just opt out of reading it because you think, oh, I'm older, I don't need to read picture books anymore. I can assure you that several of the picture books um, are actually written for an upper elementary to middle school 
audience. So please do pick them up, give them a read. And if nothing else, if you feel like it wasn't written for you, pick it up and read it to a younger brother or sister or cousin, and then you can add it to your uh, list of books that you have read for Black Eyed Susans. So again, remember eight, at least eight in the picture book category, at least three in the chapter book category, at least three in graphic novels. So let's talk about how you can get to the list of Black Eyed Susans. So I'm gonna go back to, let me see if I can increase the size of this screen here. I'm gonna go back to the Great Seneca Creek website because you may want to get to this from home. So if you go to the Great Seneca Creek website and you go to Media Center, it's thinking. It's taking a long time to think today. So when it gets to the Media Center page, you're going to see a link to Destiny. If it doesn't get itself there quickly, I'm going to try something else. Um, again, when you get to the Media Center page, you're going to click on the link to get you to Destiny, our online catalog. And that looks something like this. Okay, so once you get to Destiny, and you can also just type in up here in um, the URL box, destiny.mcpsmd.org, and it will also take you to um, the Destiny site. And when you get there, you're actually going to need to make sure that you choose our school, Great Seneca Creek Elementary, because if you choose a different school, you're not going to see what you see on my screen now. You can also choose to log in if you're going to create a list of books you'd like to read. Always make sure you log in. If you're just logging on just to um, check out the catalog and see what we have, that's fine. But if you intend to make any kind of a reading list, you're going to want to make sure that you're logged in. So on that home page, when you get to Destiny, let me scroll down a little bit, you will see that there's a link to the BES nominees for this year. So if I click on that link, oh, the internet is so slow today. Okay, you will see that I've got four buttons up here I can click on. So the first button says about the nominees. And again, it tells you that the Black Eyed Susan reading program is about you, the students, reading as many of them as you can throughout this year until we get to April. Um, and if you've read the appropriate number, then you will get the opportunity to vote for your favorite. And we will announce the winners at the end of the year. So you should be trying to read a few of them each month so that you don't get behind and have to do that speed reading at the end. So in the picture book category, if I click here, I can see the 15 books um, that were selected for this year. If I click on the chapter books, I can see that. I can also click on these links and I can go to author websites or I can see a book trailer, which is a short little um, movie clip that gives you a little information about the book. So you can go on here in the evening or when you have some free time and see if you can get a little idea of what each one of these are about and which ones you'd really like to read. There's also a graphic novel category, which we said before, and again, there's links to these book websites, author websites, and if there's a trailer in place, um, there's also a link to those trailers. Um, on each of these pages, it will remind you again of how many you need to read for each category. I also have a bulletin board that reminds you that reminds you of how many you need to read for each category. So if you go to this site, you'll see it. I'm at home, that's why my phone's ringing. And the picture book category at the very bottom, it will tell you how many you need to read if you happen to forget. So now you know where you can go to get the list. Now let's talk about how you can get to those electronic formats of the Black Eyed Susan. So let me go back. Okay. And on the home page of Destiny again, if you 
um, scroll down, you'll see File at Shelf. It says See the Home Use Password Sheet. So all of you should by now have a copy of that or know how to get to it on Google. Um, your teachers have created a link on their weekly newsletters. Um, should be somewhere on that newsletter each week that you can click on the link to get the home use passwords. So when you do that, um, and you, uh, when you find your home use passwords and you click on this link, it's going to ask you for the file at shelf um, password and username. So the username is G S C 340 and the password is books with an uppercase B and then you're going to log in. When you log in, that's when you will see the um, electronic Black Eyed Susans that we have for this year. You can select the one that you'd like to read. Um, if they have this little symbol at the top, that means more than one person can be reading those Black Eyed Susans at a time. So we have two of those. This is just kind of a quick reference guide as to how to read an electronic book. You may or may not want to use that to help you out. Um, if it doesn't have this, then that means only one person can be reading it at a time. So when I click on here and it says open the book and I click on this link, okay, it will open the book up for me, but only I can be reading it at that time. So if someone else logs in to file that shelf and tries to read that book, it's going to tell them they can't read it right then. But if you come back in about a half an hour, because we set it to allow you to read, at half an hour clips. Um, if you come back a little later and try to log in, then you can take a turn reading that particular ebook. Okay, I want to show you a couple of things um, with these books so that you know how it works. I can close this information page. Um, I have a page turner here that I can use. Also down at the bottom, which I'm not sure why we can't see that right now. Um, sometimes there's a little CD down here. If you click on that, it will allow you to listen to the story as well. There is also on some of them, and maybe I'll try another one, um, some highlighter tools and some other tools to help you do some close reading on uh, these Black Eyed Susan books. So explore that and teachers you may want to take some time to explore a little more in depth than I have time to do today with the tools in Follett Shelf. Okay. At the end of some of the books teachers there are also some text dependent questions that you may want to use with your students. So take a look at those when you get a chance. I'm going to go back. Okay, so now you know how to access File at Shelf. You can see some of those books in electronic format. Now I'm going to go back to um, my flip chart and close this screencast up because it looks like I'm about to run over on time. Um, let me go to my last slide. Let's make sure we've done everything. Um, we've explained what the Black Eyed Susan reading program is. It's three lists of great books. Um, that we hand out every year. It's a new list of books each year. They are high quality literature. They're going to help you build your vocabulary, help you grow your brain, help you learn all kinds of new things. And also, sometimes they may even touch your heart a little bit or inspire you to take action and do something. So please read as many of them as you can this year and grow that brain. We reviewed the requirements to participate and vote. We reviewed how to navigate to the Follett shelf to see some of the Black Eyed Susan nominees in electronic format. And the last thing that we wanted to talk about is where you can locate the Black Eyed Susans in our library. So wherever you see a sign with flowers that looks like this, and this is a Black Eyed Susan from a few, few years ago, um, those signs will actually tell you, if you read them closely, the call numbers or the book's address, where you can find that book, and it's usually located right down below that sign. They also give you a little summary, so as you're browsing in the library, you can get a quick snippet of the book and decide 
hey, does that sound like a book that is just right for me or interesting to me?